Horse archers were elite troops who galloped into battle, shooting their bows from the saddle, arrow after arrow after arrow. The key to horse archery is being able to fit an arrow to the string, draw it back, and release very, very quickly. Horse archers use a special device called a thumb ring, and this gives us a special technique to lock the arrow onto the bow and shoot. With the thumb draw, the arrow is placed on the right-hand side of the bow. And so taking an arrow from the quiver and onto the string was extremely efficient, allowing horse archers to shoot in rapid succession. The three main shots are the forward shot, the side shot, and the back shot, also called the Parthian shot. Both Moscow and the Mongols had a horse archery tradition that stretched back for centuries. Their armies were well matched with these light and versatile troops, and their conflicts were characterized by the horse archer's fluid style of warfare. Horse archers were famed for their surprise attacks. In Moscow's armies, they could be deployed rapidly in many different terrains and then appear as if from nowhere. In addition to being expert with their bows, they use both javelins and swords for close quarter fighting. Attacks could come from any side, so horse archers had to shoot both left and right-handed. Shots taken behind the head offered additional variety in the angles of attack. They were also expert at swarming across an enemy's front to decimate his lines. They were quick to retreat and just as quick to renew their attacks. Horse archers were Moscow's crack troops. They patrolled the borders and held them against invaders.